I knew from day one that I wanted to do my internship at the International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research, Bangladesh. I began working in hygiene and studying diarrhea as an undergrad, and it continues to fascinate me. ICDDRB provided an incomparable opportunity to work at an organization that has made so much progress in a country that still has so far to go. My name is Rachel Jackson, and I want to bridge the gap between science and policy. We already know diarrhea kills hundreds of thousands of young children every year. We know what causes it. We know how to treat it easily and cheaply, and we know everything we need to do to prevent it. Why is this still a problem? That's why my research emphasizes real-world implications and is intended to inform policy improvements. My project is data analysis. I could do it anywhere with a computer. I wanted to go to Bangladesh, I chose to go to Bangladesh to experience what it's like to interact with people who continue to be affected by this irrationally persistent disease. My preceptor planned for me to visit and work at field sites, engage in data collection, meet with study participants, and generally maximize my time in Bangladesh. The first site visit was scheduled for July 9th, one week after the Eid holiday. My first few weeks of work were a little dry, mostly consumed with conducting a literature review, so I was raring to go. The Thursday before the Eid holiday, I got a call from ICDDRB's housing director telling me not to leave my apartment. News started creeping in about an attack at a bakery down the street. I could hear helicopters and what sounded like gunfire. Suddenly, my cushy apartment in the middle of the foreigner-dense diplomatic district seemed less advantageous. To be honest, at this point, I wasn't really worried. Bad things happen wherever you are. Emails and phone calls started coming in, people asking me whether I was safe, whether I needed to leave, how I was doing. I assured everyone that I was safe and unafraid. The next morning, all that changed. I learned the attack had been carried out by domestic terrorists and had specifically targeted foreigners. Scared and still on lockdown, my roommate and I spent two days hashing out all of our options, and the conclusion we came to was simple. We could do our work remotely, and the reasons for staying, active field research, field site visits, would no longer be available. ICDDRB would not risk our safety in that way. So it was time to leave. Within 12 hours of making that decision, we were gone. I was in Bangladesh for two and a half of the 11 weeks that I had planned. I do not regret making this decision, and I think I made the right decision to prioritize my safety. However, this experience made me aware of how difficult it is to provide aid and care and conduct research in communities that are under siege. When I worked as an EMT, as an undergraduate, our first priority was always our own safety. If you get hurt, you require care. You can no longer provide it. But those instructions assume robust support and supplies that are not always available in low-income or less stable areas. Leaving in this case was justified, but isn't always. How do I balance my own safety with my desire to help people who may live in unsafe areas? How do I decide, how do I tell that the risk is worthwhile? I am still struggling with these questions, so please do find me afterwards if you have the answers. <laughs> I'm grateful for the time that I had. I stuck out and was often uncomfortable, but that's part of working in global health, in places with which you are unfamiliar, in which you may be a stranger. This experience has not deterred me from working in difficult circumstances, but it has made me appreciate that they may require delicate handling, careful planning, and a lot of help. Thank you.